Anthony, another point at home, uh, frustrating. What was your assessment tonight? I thought we were absolutely diabolical. I thought that was about a shadow of a doubt, our performance since we've been at the football club. Forget that, it was a point and I'm being at home. That, it, it, we just um, painting over one or two issues there. I thought that was a, a poor performance. We looked scared to receive the ball, we looked scared to play. We just discussed it for an hour in the changing room then about what the whys are when we work and look so good in, 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 in training on certain stuff and then when, when it's a game, um, we're not doing it. Um, or we've not done it tonight. I'm not going to start dressing it up like it's been off season because it hasn't, but tonight we don't sweep things under the carpet. It's not a case of going, right, OK, we'll move on to the next one. That performance wasn't good enough. Could we have won the game? Yeah. Do we have good chances? Absolutely. But the performance in general will get you losses more than it'll get you wins. And it's moment in time. We're just teetering on the edge. We look a little bit scared to press home advantage in terms of committing bodies in certain areas of the pitch, taking certain chances in case we leave the back door open and we see. But this is a team that's lost one in eight. Is it one in eight, I think? Yeah. Why would you be scared of losing games when we don't hardly lose them? Take the reins off, go and play. So we just talked about that quite a bit there. So just reflecting on the, the actual the actual performance, it, 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 it was boring. It was awful. I, I spoke last week with you about um, entertaining, yeah, entertaining being exciting. That's not entertaining. That was absolutely um, like what, watching paint dry from our point of view. Um, so we've got to find a way of, 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 of getting that excitement, creating them chances like we did a few weeks back. I know that obviously the start of the game always sets a tone, doesn't it? We were a little bit sloppy, I thought, in the early stages, and that did sort of leak into the performance. A yeah, bit. it did, and I think it's the opposite to what we've done in most games. You think of scoring early against Kiddy, um, you think of the, the, the start of the game against Darlington, the start of the game against Alfred Tunay, you know, uh, on the front foot, um, using real quality on the ball, and tonight we didn't do that, and it just spread and spread and spread. And what it does, it gives the opposition that real momentum in the game. And I thought they took charge for a good hour of the game there and finished much stronger than we did. Um, so from that point of view, as I said, we've always got to find out what the wise is. Watch the game back, we reflect, we discuss with the lads what they thought the problems were, and then we, we, we try to rectify it. We're, we're, we're a resilient team. We look tough, we look hard to beat, but I, I don't enjoy that. I don't enjoy, enjoy watching us like that. And as you say, we had to be hard to beat and dogged at the back, and, and that meant Max Metcalf was in was in good form tonight. He had a good game, didn't he? The, goal, the goalkeeper. Yeah, I think he said that because he, he made quite a few mistakes against Kiddy, I said, and it had been, been really easy to, to change his boy. But I thought it was an outstanding performance. I think he's been outstanding most of the season, um, and he made mistakes. The difference is when a goalkeeper makes a mistake, you get punished, and that's what happened against Kiddy. But for a 19-year-old lad to react the way he did with that type of performance, some of the saves he made, some of the, the crosses they were taking, the communication levels was outstanding. I thought James Curtis and Joe Tate and Joe Wheatley as well in front of them. Too who were very good, um, defended most of the evening, um, but I think going forward from an attacking point of view and in possession point of view, um, it wasn't good enough, there was some, some, some poor decision making and we've got to find out why and, and, and like I said before, how we make that better. I guess the, the, the positive must be that, you know, it's that old saying isn't it, if you're not going to win a game, which we didn't look like too many times tonight, you don't you don't then lose it and that's what we didn't do tonight, we made sure we, we stayed you know in the game and, and got ourselves at least a point out of it. We do have positives in there, you know, you've asked me how I thought the game went and, I, and I'll give you my true reflection on that, um, whether people agree with or disagree with it, I don't think many will disagree with my reflection on it tonight, but we do the positives in the chain room with the lads, absolutely, another clean sheet, I think it's our, maybe our fourth of the season. We've conceded nine, I think, is it this season, and seven of them have been in two games. Um, so we are hard to beat. We look very organised, rigid, um, compact. All the all the type of stuff that you work on is brilliant. But you've got to win games of football. Um, and at home at this moment in time, we've drawn four games, simple as that. Um, I'd like to think that sometimes the opposition come and set off the ball. These didn't, they had a go at us. They had a real go at us. So it made it a bit of a basketball match. From problem was we didn't show enough quality in transition when, when, when it was our turn to go forward. So it's as simple as that, really. So... We'll watch the game back. We'll um, train Thursday night, and um, we'll, we'll work on things that we know we need to we need to put right. Jordan Preston, his first start of the season, and you must have been pleased. I know how eager you've been to get him out there because he he can change games. We just didn't get the ball to him enough, I guess tonight. Didn't get on the ball. Didn't get any of the front four on the ball way enough. And when we did, the, the, the qualities themselves wasn't good enough. It was bouncing off them, uh, making the wrong runs. And these are things that you can work on and put right on the training. Level. It was great. That was a massive positive getting JP on the on the pitch for a good. 65 minutes, I think it was. Um, he's, he's, it's been a tough time for him since he's come to the club with injuries and stuff like that, but it was good to get him on the pitch. He showed some moments of quality, got in good positions. He's saying he probably could have scored with a, with a, with a chip that he had, yeah, when the keep came out and saved from Jordan Fulis. So that was that, that was a major positive, absolutely. <clears throat> 
And just finally, I mean, is it, is it a good or a bad thing that we take a little break from the league now? We're on FA Cup duty. It is what it is. You know, it doesn't matter who you play next. The, the game's about results. The FA Cup, especially for clubs like this, it, it, you know, it's much needed revenue. Um, it's an opportunity to put the club's name on the map. But you know, it's all cliche after cliche with the FA Cup. But that's what it's about. It doesn't matter if it's a league game or a cup game. We've got to find that a, a way to win. We've lost one in eight, but we've also won two in eight. Um, so whether it be a Durham Challenge Cup, whether it be um, an FA Trivia, FA Cup League game, we've got, to, we've got to get in that habit and that momentum of winning games.